Welcome back everyone. Um, before we move on to the next step of wiring up the multifunction unit after we have got all of these um, wires in, before we plug all this mess in, we are just going to go um, and take a look at how I install the socket for the trailer lights. Now the trailer lights, the, the, the light kit from Tamiya is just a simple um, one page instruction on how to fit the um, lights to the trailer. I will go through that um, in another episode after we've finished the truck but we need to install the socket in the truck where the light lead plugs in now on the old king hall well on the king hauler body um, let me show you on this cab we have this set of holes here now this was originally for the Tamiya electrical lighting unit um, which was all switch operated um, discontinued now not available nobody wants to buy them because they're, they're very retro but I do have um, a kit that uh, has been un unopened and unused which is very very rare uh, but this socket in particular is where this is uh, let me move that up there and that just there in the kit we have um, the main um, trailer lights with the um, six pin uh, mini din. Let me see that in there. No. Anyway. But we also have this. And this plugs in to the uh, multifunction control unit. Now in the instructions. Because as I said in past videos. Tamiya do not revise their products. Without first discontinuing it. And because they sell such a lot of these. Discontinuing it. Um, they haven't updated the instruction manual so the instruction manual uh, basically shows you how to plug it into their old electrical um, lighting unit I'll just I'll take a picture of that and I'll flash it up on screen um, but we need to install this um, six pin um, din socket because we have uh, stop and tail lights at the bottom we have um indicators each side of the locating peg so that basically fits drill this hole out in the cab and then we fit that in behind now because i have uh, basically deleted the holes and painted over it i don't want to be drilling this to put this in so there's a, a quite an easy place uh, to put it. Get rid of that out of the way. I'm just going to uh, put that back on there so it's out of the way. So let me just move these around so we can see the back of. Uh, the trailer now of course the trailer uh, comes up to about here and this plate just here you can if you uh, want so if you're just doing a standard basic radio install you will still have this uh, coupler plate on there which fits um, there instead of the option part that I've put on there so if you have this I would basically drill a hole in here in in the middle of there and I would fit that 
so this trailer would actually um, plug so that's on there and that will just plug into there rather than in the back of the cab and then you don't have the wire uh, hanging down and then going into the trailer so that would just basically be there straight into the trailer um, and because I've got the servo um, mounted under here because I've got the servo mounted here for the coupling I'm not going to drill this I'm going to drill here and it's quite easy there's four bolts um, on there just take that fifth wheel coupling off and it is dead easy drill that out and two small holes either side so that fits in and it is um, as easy as that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that off and drill that hole out I might have to get a file and file it out so uh, yeah I will uh, be back in a second Uh, I have had a massive um, tidy up of little bits of rubbish over here in this corner where I just put all my tools. Um, there's lots of bits of plastic in there. It's getting a little bit out of hand, so I've took a little bit of time and had a bit of a reset over there. So, right then, let's take those six six millimeter um, bolts out of that fifth wheel coupler plate it's a really easy modification um, no great uh, skill needed on that just pop that uh, ball joint off from underneath And then we have um, the fifth wheel and just pull that through the advantage of uh, braiding this one rather than wrapping it in the self amalgamating tape is one that it doesn't stick to the other uh, looms that we've done so here we have I'm not going to be uh, taking all these uh, bolts out because I can work quite happily on there I have um, a bit of wood and uh, I've got my act together with the towel. So I'm just going to put that on there with the block of wood so I don't drill my towel. have uh, a couple of slurp. It's a trucker thing you wouldn't understand. And this wire is um, long enough to go under the cab floor into the MFC and uh, into the uh, coupler plate. So what I will do is you can use some tape. I stick that um, over there like so. Let me tilt you around a little bit. Just put my pen away. Not getting a grip of it this morning, and then in the middle, and you can uh, measure this out. That's not a very good pen because it's got a waxy finish on the uh, a waxy finish on the uh, masking tape. 
I use masking tape for everything. So that is about where I need to be. So between one hole and the other. I'm just going to do the main hole for now, which is, uh, I'd say about 10 millimeter. I'm hoping this one is going to be big enough slightly not big enough but i don't have a bigger drill bit but that's not a problem so bravery to drill a hole in your truck that's that's the pilot hole and the next size up might help if I tighten the drill bit up and the right way so that's the next size up Don't be tempted to drill this out whilst it's uh, on the truck because that's going to, going to end badly. You're going to go straight through and probably drill the top of your differentials out. That's not going to be very good. Um, if you haven't got the fifth wheel um, wire, then obviously you can move it away. But I'm not going to uh, be pulling that wire all the way out. So now I've got um, that bit in. I'm actually going to pull that off. Yeah. And where's my... file set and I'm not going to waste time with these uh, small precision files that's for something a little bit more um, delicate and then I'm going to file this out slowly but I'll whiz you forward So that's uh, now done. Let me uh, just take it out slowly, 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 as you saw me in the Billy Whiz um, clip there. That have this uh, file a bit out, test fit it, and this is what um, you now get. There's a hole, and that fits in there. It did. Uh, oh. That is so precise that uh, it looked like it grew there. I'm just going to um, fettle those edges around so it's a little bit neater. And uh, this plug, make sure that it's orientated the right way. Um, because what I want to do is when the trailer is obviously coming from this direction. Now let's do it from here, which is the correct way round for the truck. Um, obviously the trailer is going to be here and that wire is going to be 
no good being like that so I turn it around so that socket is orientated in such a way that the plug actually goes in uh, like that so there's a bit of bend in the trailer you'll see that in uh, one of the next uh, videos when I go through how we do this and um, how we wire the trailer lights in in another video but I'm just doing this for you guys now on this project because this wire here has to be installed at this stage unless you want to take your truck apart and like I say this socket comes with the thing this will be um, wrapped this will be twisted and wrapped so it's uh, a nice neat install underneath the truck right I need now to find out um, with a fine drill because I obviously need to drill these two uh, fixing holes out and find out what size um, screws they are and they are M2 they are just M2 screws They're quite long so I'm going to go ahead and drill them out using this drill so I'll fit that in like that twist that around so the couple of wire is up there out of the way so I'm happy with the orientation of that I can just stick that drill down through the hole and mark it out not drill my finger just going to mark it and then I can remove that Towel. That's good enough for me. And then we just see, we don't want to do that uh, too big. I'm just going to push one of them through the plastic bag so the rest of the nuts and bolts don't fall out. And just see if that fits through there. It's a little bit um, tight. Not wrong with the Right, I'm not going to be too worried about that because that is nice and in there. Okay then, so there is um, my fifth wheel. Um, small modification done to the truck. I'm going to wrap that rubbish up in the towel and remove it. So I can get in here, pull this wire through and then this wire, I'm just going to show you for, for example, it won't fit because that bar and that will fit just there perfectly. So, this plate is uh, this plate is held down by two um, bolts into the top of the chassis, so that's not going to be um, no great problem.
to uh, just move that plate enough for me to just poke that down through there. So of course it's got a servo under it, so I'm just going to slacken these. Oh, what a wallet. What a wallet. That's because I ain't thinking. So I'm just going to slacken the floor. So you can't see anything because my arms are in the way. Get to those four screws. And that one isn't all the way out. That's it. That can get under there. Get a bolt in there. It really does help having dexterity. And you can hold your screwdriver any hole down you want and still be able to turn it. I suppose it's an advantage of being able to do left and right hand as well. So now they're all in, I'm going to slam in. I think what that was doing it was it was sticking to the um, wiring loom for the uh, rear lights that's why it was being difficult to put through how do I demagnetize screwdrivers come on I don't know um, you got any ideas why it's been magnetized for heaven's sake I've not dropped it I haven't bashed it around it's just become magnetic all of a sudden. Don't know why. So, let me move this around. And now I've fitted that. Um, get you right in there. I've fitted this socket for the trailer light plug. And that's all you can see. It's just that there. And then... When the trailer is hooked up to, the, to it, that is just going to fit in there like that and then loop backwards into the trailer. So when the trailer turns, it's just going to do that and it's not going to be anything. And we've not got horrible... Um, sockets hanging off the back of the sleeper so okay i'm going to push that up through that hole while this is loose and uh, i'll be right back literally two minutes later we get this plug fitted through and that will just fit in the uh, top of the mfc go through that in the next video um when we get to that part, I'm just going to um, button down this sleeper floor. You can safely say now that all of the wires are now in. That one's a little bit of a tricky one because it is underneath. The MFC, but that is now buttoned down. Let me go around all the other four, the other three, and just knit them 
knit them up not too tight because we don't want to strip out the things we don't need that in there that is for the uh, lots of wires um, to contend with as you can see there's no real fight to get everything down I'm going to put these um, these um, trailer lights away so have you found the uh, previous videos a help I'd appreciate it if you give this video a like if you have because that, that kind of helps support my channel and um, yeah it gives me the encouragement that people like it and it tells me yeah people like your stuff do some more and I will do some more if you like what you see do you do anything different do you do things and thought oh, i've been doing it my way for years and i'll try that way mm, all very good so yeah um this this part here is the, the trailer it's this piece here so if you think that this comes with the mfc it doesn't it only comes with the um semi-trailer light set so mm, I'll do a little uh, a little video on how to install these and uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to that so anyway guys thanks for watching um usual thing give that uh, a subscribe um, because you get uh, related content recommended if you like uh, an RC related channel and um, so that that helps you really it helps me as well I'm not going to kid anybody about it and then um yeah and i'll get back to wiring up that mfc after i've had a strong cup of that see you later guys